in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this new original. We've got a super neat sides and back, and then big volume in the hair coming up from the front, sitting right at the back. Hello, how are you? Yes, I am very well, thank you. Now you can already see that this video has got a twist. This style takes inspiration from the car that I'm driving, the new release Mini John Cooper Works. With Mini first launching in 1959, this new release is the new original. So I was thinking, what hairstyle can I take and give a new original twist? And that one is super, super easy. Taking my most popular hairstyle on YouTube, which was also popular in the 1950s, I'm going to give the Rockabilly Pompadour the new original makeover. Prepare to keep to the left. Take a left turn. For this style, you will need a dry shampoo. I'm using Batiste. A hair wax or pomade. I'm using Kevin Murphy's Gritty Business. And optional, but I'd recommend, a hairspray to hold it all in place. For this hairstyle, my haircut works really well. It's a short back and sides, a clippered one into a zero. I've got a shaved side part, which helps to make the sides slightly neater. And then I've left the hair long on top for even more volume. Now my hair was washed last night, but I want to give my hair slightly more tackiness and a bit more hold. So a top tip for me is to grab a dry shampoo and you're going to want to spray it all over. This is going to remove any excess grease from your hair, but also give the hair more hold and grip. Also, because I'm not using a hairdryer, this is going to give it instantly more volume before we put that product in. Now, already I can feel that my hair is slightly more tacky, it's got more grip, and it's ready for that wax product. So grab your wax or pomade, and we're going to use this bit by bit. We don't want to overload the hair at first, we just want to build up layers. Like that amount, put it into your hands and warm it up. This is going to help the product go all the way through, because waxes and pomades can be thick and sticky. But the hotter it gets, the easier it will go through. Now for this part, I'm going to push all the hair forward at first. This is going to help to build a good foundation before we flip the hair back and make that pomp. Pushing it all forward, into the centre. Now, once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to push all the way back with our hands, under the hair, and pushing it back to build that wave pump. Pushing and smoothing. Again, because we don't have a hairdryer, we've got to keep our hands moving quickly. This, much like making bread, is going to get air into the hair and give it more volume. Now I'm going to add a bit more product and I'm going to sweep it over the front. Just sweeping motions. With my fingers, I'm keeping them really wide and that's just letting the hair go straight through. A comb is going to give you precision, it's going to keep it looking really slick, but with this modern twist, I want it to look quite messy and give it a really modern edge. This hairstyle is all about the cut and the product, so if you get those right, you will get this hairstyle bang on. Okay, so this product has got really great hold and I'm sure it will stay in place, but I always just think, make sure it's not going to move. So grab your hairspray. We're going to first just spray onto our hands and brush the hair. And what this is going to do is just take away any flyaways, picking up those stray hairs and just placing them where we want them. And then finally, just give our spray all over. There we go. Done. So as you've just seen, it's super easy and quick to do. Thank you very much for watching my new original. As ever, please do like it, hate it, just rate it, please. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.